For today's topic, we have addition and subtraction of rational numbers. You have learned that two fractions are similar if they have the same denominators, while two fractions are dissimilar if they have different denominators. Now, let's have addition of similar fractions. First, you have to check if the denominators are the same. Example, 3 over 8 plus 7 over 8. So, we have the same denominators. Next, add the numerators over the denominator. So, from 3 over 8 plus 7 over 8, it can be written as 3 plus 7 all over 8 and 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 over 8. Then, express the answer in lowest terms. So, 10 and 8 can be divided by 2. So, the reduced form is 5 over 4. Next example is 16 over 7 plus negative 3 over 7. So, the denominators are the same. So, we have both 7. Add the numerators over the denominator. So, 16 over 7 plus negative 3 over 7 can be written as 16 plus negative 3 all over 7. And since 16 and negative 3 do not have the same sign, so we will subtract them. So, 3 or 16 minus 3 is equal to 13. And that is positive because the greater number is or the larger number is 16. And 16 is positive. So, we will use the sign of 16. So, we have 13 over 7. Then, express the answer in lowest terms. And that is already in reduced form. So, always take note that in adding numerators, follow the rules of integers. Next is subtraction of similar fractions. So, again, check if the denominators are the same. Example, 7 over 11 minus 4 over 11. So, we have the same denominators. Then, subtract the numerators over the denominator. So, 7 over 11 minus 4 over 11 can be written as 7 over minus 4 all over 11. And that is 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 over 11. Then, express the answer in lowest terms. So, 3 over 11 is already the lowest term. Next example. Negative 6 over 28 minus 8 over 28. So, check the denominator. So, we have the same denominators. And then, subtract the numerators over the denominator. So, it can be written as negative 6 plus negative 8 all over 28. And then, we have the same sign. That is because in subtraction of integers, we have to add the opposite. So, the opposite of 8 is negative 8, and we will change this to addition. So, since we have the same sign, so we will add 6 and 8, and we will use the same sign. So, that is negative 14 over 28. And then, reduce to lowest terms. Negative 14 or 14 and 28 are both divisible by 2. So, when we say divisible, it can be divided or the number can be divided exactly. So, the answer is negative 1 half. Again, in subtracting the numerators, follow the rules of integers. Next is addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. First, make the denominators the same by finding the LCM or the least common multiple. Example, 3 over 8 plus negative 7 over 12. So, 3, 8 and 7 are dissimilar. Or they are different. We have different denominators. So, first, we will find the LC or the multiples of 8. So, we have 8, 16, 8, 24, and so on. And then 12, we have 12, 24, 36, and so on. So, the least one is not 8 and 12, but when we say least, at the same time common, so that is 24. And that is the least 
common among the multiples of 8 and 12. So that is 24. And we will use now 24 as the new denominators. So we will multiply or we will ask what number should be multiplied to 8 to make this 24 and that is 3. And then what number should be multiplied to 12 to make this 24 and that is 2. Okay, so whatever you multiply on the denominator should be multiplied on the numerator. So since we multiply 3 on 8, we will multiply also 3 on 3. So we have 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And we multiply 2 to 12. So we will, we will multiply 2 to negative 7. So we have negative 7 times 2 is equal to negative 14. Then we can add now since we have the same sign, denominators. So we have to add, subtract, or subtract the numerators over the denominator. So it can be written as 9 plus negative 14 over 24 or all over 24. Since they have different signs, we will subtract. So, we subtract 14 or 9 from 14. So, that is negative 5 over 24. Then, reduce to lowest terms. So, negative 5 over 24 is already the lowest terms. Last example, 5 over 6 minus 7 over 18. So, we have different uh, Denominators, we have 6 and 18. So first, let's have the multiples of 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. And then for 18, we have 18, 36, 54, and so on. So the least common multiple of 6 and 18 is equal to 18. Now, we will now use 18 as the new denominators. So what should be multiplied to 6 to make this 18? So that is 3. And what should be multiplied to 18 to make this 18? And that is 1. So whatever you multiply on the denominator will be multiplied in the numerator. So we will multiply 3 to 5. So that will become 15. And then we will multiply 1 to 7. And that is 7. And then, since we have already the same de denominators, we can write it as 15 minus 7 over, all over 18 is equal to 8 over 18. And then, reduce to lowest terms, we have 8 over 18 is equal to 9 or 4 over 9. So that's all for adding and subtracting rational numbers.